Hi, welcome to Framelines. Hi, welcome to Framelines, Josh here. Um, I thought I'd do a different video this week to what we've done so far, like a kind of photo vlog roundup review of all the kind of photography related things I've kind of looked at or been up to over the past month or so. Uh, so I wanted to go through kind of some of the books I've bought, some podcasts I've listened to, some cameras I've been trying out. Yeah, just a kind of general photo roundup name to be confirmed uh, review vlog thing. Welcome. So I wanted to quickly touch on a book I bought just before Christmas. Uh, it's called Southwestern by Neil McDermott. Uh, Neil is a Scottish photographer who works primarily in portrait kind of documentary street photography styles. Uh, Southwestern is a kind of culmination of 10 years of photographs taken in and around southwest London, kind of Clapham, Mitcham, Barnes, Tooting, all the kind of southwestern suburbs that maybe haven't really been kind of photographed all that much. I love this book. I've lived in southwest London for the last 10 years myself, so super interesting to see Neil's take on it and uh, lots of areas I've never even heard of, like Summer's Town, I didn't even know existed. Uh, it's apparently near kind of Ellsfield, so also a bit of a geography lesson in a way. Yeah, so the book is a kind of documentary style. There's some portraits and kind of nice street scenes. Um, what I really love about it is some of it is kind of quite hard to place in time and also that you can't really place it in Southwest London at all. Uh, one of my favorite images is of a kind of fairground being packed up uh, on Clapham Common. Uh, really love that one. You can see it's put together beautifully, really lovely colors. So I believe Neil still has a few copies left, so I'll put a link down below to his website and his Instagram where so you can see some of his other work. But uh, yeah, definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. Um, it's a lovely book. I also wanted to quickly touch on my favorite photography podcast. It's called the Outer Focus Podcast and it's run by Ian Weldon. Um, he gets quite deep into kind of history of photography and also has some great guests. Uh, he's interviewed Jonathan Higby, uh, Giselle Dupre, Matt Stewart. Um, he recorded a live version of the podcast at a pub in East London just before Christmas and he interviewed a photographer called Stephen Leslie whose book I also wanted to talk about. So Stephen Leslie is a writer and photographer. Um, this book is a kind of combination of some of his street photographs and then some short stories he has written to go along with the photograph. Some of them are fictional, some of them are fact. It's quite fun to try and work out which is which. Um, so I really like to have a sit down and look at photo books. I also read a lot anyway, so it's nice to be able to kind of combine the two. So looking at photos I enjoy and read a little story to go along with it. So my kind of favorite subgenre of street photography is the kind of like humor style as it were. Um, Stephen's pictures really do capture this. Uh, some of them are really funny, some of them are really quirky, a bit sad. And then the combination of the stories as well really adds another dimension to it. Really love this book. Definitely check it out. Check out Stephen's work. I'll put a link to his website and where you can buy this book as well. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this. Check it out. Next segment, fascinating, is a little camera I've just bought. Um, talked about it briefly in a couple of our other videos. Uh, it's a Canon EOS 300 in a beautiful kind of champagne silver finish. Um, the body cost me 15 pounds and the lens was the 50 mil 1.8, which was 55 pounds. Overall, just a bargain. Uh, I really wanted to kind of get back into film photography, but the reason I kind of gave it up is just, it was just way too expensive. Roll of film, developing, scanning and everything. It just got a bit, got a bit over the top. So I thought maybe get a really cheap camera and then spend the money I've saved on film. I haven't got any complaints with this so far. It does feel a bit cheap and nasty, but it fits into my coat pocket. So yeah, cheap and cheerful, really. Um, I found a roll of Portra 400 down the back of my wardrobe the other day. So I thought it'd be a good test roll to put through because I wasn't sure how long I've had it for. Um, stumbled across a man uh, outside a cinema unloading huge queues of popcorn. I uh, thought made it kind of a funny picture. Maybe out of context, it's not that interesting. Camera works fine, pretty happy with it. Hopefully get some more pictures with it. We'll see how we go, but yeah. Mm, that's not good. We'll see. Uh, last little segment. Um, I've talked on this channel a couple of times about how I like taking pictures with either a 28mm or 35mm focal length. 
and how much I like using my Leica Q. I had the opportunity to borrow a Leica Q2 for a few days. This really appealed to me because it has such a high res sensor. You can kind of do an in-camera crop from 28 to 35, and I think onwards to 50 and 70 mil. Um, I was more interested in the 28 and 35, being able to switch between the two, um, save carrying around an extra lens. Yeah, so borrowed this for a little bit, um, went for a walk up to the city of London, kind of bank area. Really nice light, nice day, just took a few pictures, mostly of pigeons, as you'll see. But in just a second, I'm kind of going to drop into kind of some point of view footage of me going for a walk with this. But that's the kind of end of the video, as it were, just a kind of little update of some books I've enjoyed and cameras I've been trying out. Hope you like this format. See what you think. Yeah, thanks for watching along. Here's me going out and taking some pics with a Leica Q2. Thanks.